Diversity in Comics went on Jim Jeffries' show on Comedy Central to talk about Comicsgate, and it was a complete hack job. I don't watch TV, so I'm not too familiar with Jim Jeffries, but apparently he is a far leftist and has a show on Comedy Central. He went around San Diego Comic-Con and asked people questions about Comicsgate, and he finds people that I believe are making valid points. So at first I was excited about this, but I believe he may have cut people out who were really articulate and explained the points properly, and he just picked people that he thought looked ridiculous or redneck or white males. So are you a comic book guy? I am. Used uh, to be. Why do you say used to be? Oh, I stopped reading it over the diversity issue. Now, overall, they've been changing comic book character characters a little too much. There's a, a comic book tradition, in a way, uh, how each character should look. I think when they start making Superman gay and, you know, uh, uh, Aquaman transgender, it's like, I don't go around and parade what I am, don't go around and parade what you are. Then he brings up that there is a movement led by a supervillain, which is, of course, Richard Meyer from Diversity and Comics. When revealing his face, he said, yeah, that checks out. And I wonder exactly what does he mean by that? Yeah, that checks out. Does he mean that he's a white male? So of course he's against diversity in comics. Who is this evil mastermind whining and complaining from the shadows? <laughs> oh, yeah, you said too much, too much. Yep, that checks out. Everyone on the internet is making fun of Richard's haircut in this, calling it super cuts, but I think he looks just fine to me. Myers points out that comics are dying because of all the political correctness and identity politics they are putting in these comics, and the industry is tanking because of it. He points out the fact that Miss Marvel is now a Pakistani Muslim and that the new Iron Man is now a woman. Jim Jeffries tries to set him up as being racist because of his viewpoints on this. It, it, would, it would upset a racist. I, I think it would. <laughs> After calling Richard Meyer a child, he brings in a team of SJWs who are dressed up like it's Halloween, who deny the fact that diversity in comics is killing the industry. They say that it is completely false, when there is plenty of proof to show that the comics industry is tanking and they are doing more and more inclusiveness, which is pissing off the consumers. He starts questioning the group and Richard Meyer about different characters and possible interpretations of them, and you can tell that they edit it. It's a hack job to make Richard Meyer look racist, and I think Richard actually comes across kind of funny and in on the joke. Okay, so how do you feel about this black Superman? Okay, a slightly less black Superman. Yeah, no, that's actually better. Black Panther's villain, Killmonger, but now it's played by a woman and the way that she attacks the Black Panther is by calling the cops while he's trying to barbecue. <laughs> Jeffries goes on to claim that Myers is attacking women and people of color who work in the comics industry. Jeffries shames Myers about his comments on some of the women in the industry. You called a woman a c dumpster. Yeah. That's not good. Yeah, it was a bad idea. Even if you don't believe that you're a racist or homophobic or sexist, isn't a fear of yours that you are attracting some people who are? I don't really think about stuff like that that much. Right. Seems like you might want to start thinking about it, Richard. Then the group of SJWs and Jeffries go on to call Myers names as well, and everyone has a laugh about it. I mean, look at the hypocrisy. Clearly they don't practice what they preach, or is it just okay because he's a white male? What do you think of Richard Meyer? Uh, he's a garbage person. <laughs> he's a gar- you can say c**t on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Wake the f up, Richard. The characters you don't like aren't written for you. You know what? I think I like this better how we started. They claim that Richard is upset because when he reads comics, he can't really see himself in any of the characters and claims that 
That's how minority groups have felt their entire life. However, I know many comic book characters that have been lesbian, Native American, many different races, genders, and sexual orientations. It has always reflected the proportions of society, and now they want to reflect a disproportionate amount of minorities in comics. People are criticizing him for going on the show, wondering why he would do such a thing considering they would most likely make him look bad. But I also think that it brought a larger scale of people to notice what's going on with Comicsgate, and possibly these people agree with the movement and it draws more attention to it. So you know what they say about PR and how press, any press is good press, so there's no such thing as bad publicity. What do you guys think? Do you think Richard came off hilarious or did they make him look bad? If you want to see more from me and the rest of the Rebel team, like and subscribe.